A few days ago, I made a video here on YouTube where I explain why I don't have a strat. And I did that because a lot of uh, my viewers on my YouTube channel have asked me to use a strat in my demos. Uh, so I made a video where I explained why I haven't had a strat in a while. Uh, and at the end, I said that uh, actually now I really want one. So I'm a trigger happy guy. Uh, just a couple of days after I made that video, I was browsing through a site that is similar to Craigslist here in Norway. And I found a guitar that looked really cool. Uh, the specs looked uh, good. So I went and tried it and here it is. I'm actually really excited about this guitar. I used it just the day after on not a gig, but I had to play guitar for some people. And I used this one and I was really happy with it. Let's take a look and see what kind of strap I got. Here it is, it's a you can see from the headstock, it's a 72 reissue. And it's made in Japan in, I think it is 1984. So there was this period between 84 and 87, where um, Fender built some strats in Japan at this, I don't remember what the factory was called, but later, the guitars that were built there were kind of like hyped because they were actually pretty good. It has a much more slimmer neck that I am used to, but I just like to have something different. I know the last owner, the guy that I bought the guitar from, he has changed uh, from the stock pickups to a DiMarcio set and I think he also changed this one. Let's go and see how this guitar sounds through an amp. All right, we are good to go. Guitar, Sinusoid Cables, Clan Centaur, uh, Tom King Imperial set on breakup point. Two notes torpedo into logic. Let's see how this guitar sounds.
this is a lot of fun. I'm digging this guitar. Um, I don't mind the brightness in the bridge pickup at all. I didn't use turn down tone knob anything in this video. Uh, the only problems I'm having is that's probably something that I get used to and I remember that from before as well. It's that I am um, hitting the middle pickup with my black drum. Also, I tend to turn down the volume knob, not on purpose when playing, but that's something that I probably get used to. So yeah, let me know what you think of this guitar. I kind of like the color as well. Uh, yeah, digging it. Let me know guys and see you in the next video. Goodbye.